This is Julie. And this is Martin. And we live full time on our 58 foot narrowboat home, Rhapsody in Blue. We're taking you along as we continuously cruise the canals and rivers of the UK with some beautiful scenery, occasional wildlife, landmarks, aqueducts and tunnels. Come with us. So, we are going to be leaving Birmingham in a minute. We're just going to untie the lines, get the ropes in and uh, we'll be off. So we'll talk to you in a little while. This map shows you where Birmingham is in the UK. So starting at Gas Street, we go along the main line BCN, Birmingham Canal Navigations, through the Smethwick locks, three of those, onto the old main line, the old BCN. We travel under a motorway for quite a distance. We go through a short tunnel before turning left at Tipton Junction and mooring at the Black Country Living Museum. So we're off. We're going through the right hand arch. <laughs> Last look at Birmingham. Lovely reflections again. The, the water is so calm. It's a really calm day. Yesterday it was really windy. So it looks like we've picked the right day to move, which is good. This is what's known as the roundhouse. We didn't get to go in, in there, but uh, yeah, there's lots to do and see in Birmingham. Does anybody know what these square holes are in the walls on the bridges? These ones have got bars, some have doors, some are just open. Anyone know what they are? Please let us know in the comments. You'll notice that Martin drops the, drops the revs and sometimes coasts through bridges in towns and cities. That's because people have a tendency to throw things off of the top of bridges and you never know what's in the water and going to hit your prop or get wrapped round your prop. So he cuts the engine and then as we come out the other side he'll start it up again. Good morning. Good morning. Properly. <laughs> we're saying we absolutely loved it in Birmingham. We it's were really worried weren't we about coming into a big city. Well, I say we was worried we was a bit apprehensive weren't well, we? Yeah. A little bit you know because you don't know when you when you're new and you've never been there before. Yeah. Pleasantly surprised. I, the town centre I absolutely loved it. Oh, the town centre is beautiful. So clean. Um, there's no, there's no rubbish. There's no graffiti. Everything is clean. They've got beautiful fountains. And the, the, all the new buildings that have gone up, they're huge and they're just stunning, stunning buildings. And some are lit up at night. Um, but you've also got what it, which it, we thought was nice. If you've got like all the old buildings nestled amongst all the new. So they've sort of kept them, haven't they? Yeah. And it's it. really nice. I mean, we went in during the day, we'd done shopping, didn't we? Yeah. And then we thought, oh, well, we'll definitely go back in the night time. And the youth around there, they were brilliant, weren't they? They were skating, uh, yeah. singing. There was no, it was just nice to see. Where they usually the have. The younger generation. The generation actually just doing something really good. It's oh, it's, it's quite lovely. Fascinating watching, wasn't it? Yeah. They were proper skaters like you know. This is one of the little arms that loops round I think. Yeah. Yeah, here's some of the graffiti I was saying about. Yeah, in the town centre there's none of this. None whatsoever. So this is the other end of that loop. And opposite you've got another opening which goes to the Soho loop. You can see that it says Soho to the right and Icknil Port Loop to the left. Behind us is Birmingham, and we're going towards Wolverhampton. Sorry about the train. <laughs> and the other one. And the other train. <laughs> Great timing. Got like a pillar here. There's no no supports on the top so we can only imagine that it used to be another double bridge 
that? All the arches in the wall. It's a proper old bridge, isn't it? Looks like <coughs> it, doesn't it? It looks like it went from there at an angle. Yeah. Looks like the bridge went across in a diagonal thing to that wall there. I'll look back and see if it makes sense again. So from this wall to there to that wall over there. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so we're actually on our way to Dudley now. Uh, we're going to go to the um, Black Country Living Museum. We can't wait to go to that. We've been wanting to do that ever since we got on the canal. So because obviously this is our home, the canals are our home, we want to learn a little bit about the history every now and again. It's really nice, isn't yeah. it? We've sort of not really done the tourist bit, but we really want to do the the Dudley Museum and see what it's all about, you know, see... Well, we've always said, haven't we, ever since we, we've come onto the boat, it's nice to... Well, we, we changed our lifestyle, so it's, it's nice to learn. Yeah. Get to know your surroundings and stuff yeah. like that, and why canals are here so to us it's like yeah we enjoy it but it's also nice to see all the reason over there because in a minute we're going to see we've got these like islands coming up and these were the old toll i think they what was it when they used to weigh the boats oh right pay their, pay their tolls yeah they're really narrow it's like yeah. going through little locks but it's where they used to work out the depth of the boat and then to see yeah. how much they were carrying so how much they were living yeah, they used to literally transport transport all the goods from one place to another by canal um, and you'll find that the reason that you have a railway often alongside a canal so that obviously they can load the trains up then at all the different factories along the route and it was a lot quicker <coughs> and then there was and a lot more they could get a lot more on trains yeah and it was a lot quicker and <coughs> that's when the canal started declining a bit didn't they yeah, you can understand why the canals slowly went with time. So. And of course now they are part of our British heritage and uh, history and now for leisure. Hence why, you know, the Canal and River Trust is, it is a trust, it's a, yeah. it's a charity at the end of the day. And they do their best, don't they, to keep things running. But... Uh, a 200 plus system is hard I to keep going. I think they do a good job. It's done better than some of our modern stuff, I think, when you think about how it was built, built proper. It always amazes me when, when we're at a lock and I think, you see the dates on the locks um, and you think, this was built in, I don't know, 1839, say, and it's still going. There's no electric, there's no computers, there's nothing, it's all engineering and it all works, doesn't it? And it's still working. Yet today, <laughs> you get a computer we've, we've and six that, months we've later seen it that goes one on wrong. Facebook, don't we, about the, the roads? Yeah. You know, we've got potholes and everything in our roads, and like the Romans built the first ones, and when we dig down, we find they're still in better condition than the ones we've got now. Yeah, yeah. So you think, you know, progression. But I'm going to turn the camera around we're going to stop waffling or I'm going to stop waffling yeah, we'll and turn the camera you. and show you these islands that Martin was saying so this is the other end of the Soho loop it goes down there and these if you can see are the islands they're quite overgrown <laughs> so Martin's got a little bit of a job here probably just about as wide as a as a lock, out, uh, oh, a lock sorry We go to the side. I don't know what's the other side. <laughs> that's how tight we are that side, and that's how tight we are this side. Oops. Yeah, so it's very narrow. I think they've left this for Mother Nature, haven't they? Yeah, there used to be like a little toll house on the top there, I should think, at one point. Yeah. Just work out how much the boats weighed and then they would pay for the toll, I think. And there you go, so you've got the channel that we've just come out of and two. there is a channel the other side yeah. as well. 
good, isn't it? This one is the railway bridge. I wonder if a train will come at the right time. <laughs> no train yet. Oh, look at that big chimney there. And look at the reflection. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to know what this building was. You can see it's com completely derelict now. You've got the big chimney to the left there. And then you've got all these little ones on top, unless they're vents. I will definitely look it up, but if there's nothing on the screen, if anybody knows what this was, we'd really be interested to know. It's such a shame that the building's not being used for something. Surely they could find something to do. To use it for. It's probably a listed building and but it's just being left to rack and ruin. Stunning. Now here I'm imagining would be a delivery and collection point in those days for that building. So it has to be something that was being made to be transported on the canals. So just coming up to this junction where the canal splits and we are going to the right. If you go straight on that's the new main line but we are actually going to the right and going down the old line and a short way up here we should come across the first of the three locks. We're now going on to the old, the old main line, <laughs> being waved at on the bridge. <laughs> There's another blocked off channel there to the right as well. Oh, could you imagine back in the day when all this was just hustle and bustle of all the boats collecting their goods It was all work back then. So yeah, so we've got a lock landing there and you can just see the lock beam under there, under the bridge. Sorry, I'll take my finger out of the way. This is the first of three locks. We're going uphill. Oh, and it's full. I've got to empty it, so I shall just let Martin know. I had to go and get my Auntie Randall here. In some areas, Locks are protected with anti-vandalism mechanisms. So you need what we call an anti-vandalism key or a handcuff key. Um, basically, you unlock it and it's supposed to release a bolt. You'll see here, but it, it, sometimes they're quite difficult. Now, this might work. Yes. So it does look a bit yucky inside this lock. There's bottles, wood, lumps of foam. Yeah, there's loads in here. You hear it? I know, you can hear it. Let's go and do the other end. And look at all this. This is actually where I have to open the gate onto. So I might have to fish some of that out, you know. Awful. So Martin's actually going to come and do it rather than me putting my hands in the water. I think he's going to use the uh, hook. Yeah, Martin's getting this stuff out with the hook. Okay, see if I can craft it with my foot. There you go. Right, I'm going to go up and set the next lock. <laughs> see you in a minute. Mind your step. <laughs> That's not very often you see them. Usually we see more hens, but these are coots because they've got the white on their foreheads and their beaks. So they're coots. And there's some more. Oh, it's a coot family. That's their 
They're the young ones, I think, there. And there's the other partner. Yeah, cute. Just by comparison, there's the moor hen with the red on the front of their face. And that is the coot with the white on the front of their face. The lock is nearly empty now. It's still going down. You can tell, you can watch the side there. You can see it's still slowly moving downwards. The gate started to creak now, so we must be nearly there. He's just closing that gate up there and he's used the centre line to tie Rhapsody. Crikey, these gates are really heavy. Really heavy. That was good timing. This lock is now ready. I've got the gate open and Martin's on his way again. What a lovely nest. Yes, nest. it was good, wasn't it? It's unusual to see coops. Not so many coots actually, well, usually are coots are on rivers, aren't they? Lakes, lakes, water. Or lakes, then, yeah. Not in a lock town. <laughs> I think this has got to be the heaviest lock gate I've had. Good lord. Oh. I always wait for Martin to acknowledge that he's ready. So the third and final lock and then after that we're lock free for quite a while. Oh look at that little round building there. I wonder if that was the, um, they called them lengthmen. Probably the lockies building probably sat in there over the lock. Look at that. Well, this is a bit nicer up here. Somebody's bothered to cut the grass. It looks quite nice. And look at that. Let me see if I can go over there. Yeah, look at all the roses and castles and pictures that they've painted on this little building. Look at that. That beautiful. That is stunning. We've got a lovely collection here. We've got wood, bottles, cans. An old shoe to the left there. And we've even got doggy bags. So isn't that nice? Somebody's bothered to pick up their dog poo and then they've chucked it all in the canal. Isn't that just charming? So this here is the hall of where boaters have fished stuff out of the canal. And uh, Martin's gone to get his net to get some of this lot out. But it's awful, awful leaving it in there. say you've got wood, you've got an old shoe, you've got loads of dog bags. <laughs> oh nice. Well I never. A coconut. <laughs> Goodness me. Do you want me to do this then? You go and get on the boat. Yeah, just give me a wash. Come on. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> See you in a minute. The 
There's so much history down here. All these old buildings. Doesn't that look lovely, seeing that through the bridge? That's just stunning. The chimney is totally separate from the building. Look at that. Not very long, 213 metres long, so it's not long at all. Look at those reflections, wow. Look at that, we've got another bridge the other side as well. The reflection is just stunning, look. Wow, it's almost a complete circle, that bridge, oh wow, I think that's a railway, that's the railway bridge, look at that, magnificent structure. Oh, it's got a date on it, MDCCXC. We'll work that out. So it works out to the year 1790. You can see all these signs of days gone by. No idea what that is. Okay, and if anybody knows what these old brick remains are, please let us know in the comments. Goodness knows what that is either. This almost looks river-like. We're going to be coming up to a rather a large motorway. It's the M5, which is very busy. And um, we're going to be zigzagging or following it for a little way. Look at all these reeds. Wow, they've been left to take over, haven't they? Look at all of those. Look how deep it is. It's got to be about 15 foot deep. Let's reduce the canal to just about two boat widths. And say so we're coming up to the M5 now. There's a huge bridge. Just saw that lorry go over the top. I'll film it as we get closer. Yeah, so here's the uh, here's the first time we see the motorway and we should be going under it and I think we're going to go under it about three times before we turn away this is unusual isn't it we're actually going underneath the motorway in line with it almost think how many tons of weight that is carrying Goodness me. Let's say we're coming out over there and then we're going to go round and I think we go back under the motorway again. So well, this is different, isn't it? This 
this is certainly different scenery to what we're used to. But again, you can see all these old buildings that would have been like, I don't know, canal wharfs and it's fascinating. I'm just saying to Martin, you can really smell the fumes from all the uh, vehicles on that road up, up above. This journey was a real mixture of old versus new. What do you prefer, the old or the new? turn it looks like we go straight on there's the locks that take you back round the other way Here's a prime example of an old canal bridge versus the new modern motorway bridge. We were just saying the water's awful here, it's got scum and it's got like, looks like diesel or petrol or oil and it's just so unkept, it's not very nice. We were just saying, you wouldn't moor up around here, not out of choice anyway. It's uh, what a shame, because this could actually be really pretty along here, even with the industry around. Never mind. So I'm now driving while Martin goes for a comfort break. So I'm sort of hoping Martin's going to come back up soon because I'm struggling to see where the canal goes from here. I think it goes round to the left and then round to the right. So I've, I've gone into tick over anyway. I may have to put the camera down. Mark, do you want to take over here, mate? It's really dark. This is different, isn't it? <laughs> They're fantastic structures, these bridges, or, you know, the actual motorway there. Oh no, I know. But it's still a stunning structure, isn't it? The size of it. Pardon? The size of it. Yes. <laughs> still a stunning structure, aren't it? Yeah. But it's a really cold wind. But um, yeah, this is this is certainly different to what we're used to. I'm just hoping we're lovely concrete trees either side. Nice There's nowhere for us to turn, so and then straight on. Hopefully to Dudley. Yeah, we should hopefully now start going away from the motorway, which looks to be the case. <laughs> I quite enjoy it. It's something different, isn't it? I'll show you we're coming out of it now. Stone Street Bridge. Mm -hmm. Weird. We haven't seen another boat on this canal at all. <laughs> Do you blame them? <laughs> We've been on our own. Ooh, yeah. Look, there's another one of those um, 
little entrances where boats would have gone to be um, loaded or offloaded. Yeah. It's all bricked up now. Shame, isn't it? A little bit more quieter now, away from the motorway. Yes. <laughs> Thankfully, we're going heading away from the motorway now. Although it was a good experience going under the motorway. Looking a little bit more greener, isn't it? Yeah. The camera's picking it up, all the rubbish and detritus in the water. This is quite nice along here. It's nice and quiet, no motorway. And we can see wildlife again. They're so cute, they're coots. It's another coot family. There's another junction here, there's some locks here to the right. I think it is a staircase of two. Yep. We're not going that way though. Yes, we realised that the whole of this journey we did not see one other moving narrowboat. We were completely on our own. This is almost like a, a lock channel again. Very narrow. Unfortunately, on this side, we're touching. Nothing I can do. Oh dear, all those brambles. Look at all the lilies. It's lovely seeing lilies. Oh, just heard a really big clunk underneath the water. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're okay. Oh, it wasn't very... I've got a clue what that was. No, I heard that. I think Martin will be checking the prop when we get uh, moored up. I mean, look at, look at all the rubbish people are just chucking in the water. I mean, what is it about canals and rivers that people feel the need to chuck rubbish into? Oh, it's just awful. Everything gets chucked in the canal, doesn't it? Yep. This is Gilbert's Bridge. I mean, look. That looks like an old fridge or something been chucked in. I think that's supposed to be flowing with water, but the water's quite low. Perhaps the ducks have ordered a takeaway, do you think? <laughs> Just going over this aqueduct, I was hoping to see Netherton Tunnel, so I'm going to hold this up and see if we can catch a glimpse. Hopefully, you could see that. Netherton Tunnel. now we'll be coming down to the junction turning left and then finding a mooring we can't wait to go to this black country museum and what they are so this is the junction we didn't think it was we nearly went the wrong way then so there's a real tight channel that Martin's got to get into yeah we nearly carried on round that way not very clearly signposted but there you go that's what we have a map for so this is where we're heading lovely we're right next to what looks like a big power station of some sort look at these towering above us well this is a really tight channel <laughs> 
with brick either side. So we've been looking forward to doing this for a long time so hopefully it will be lovely. Getting quite excited. So we're thinking this might be the last bridge. Okay so on the right hand side you can see Nikki. Hello. We're going to turn round I think. So we're just going to turn around in here. This here in there is all part of the museum. All of that in there. Martin's nearly turned round and we're going to go and more just over there. Look what I picked up. So what? Oh no! You had that round your prop? And a wire holding it on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hopefully we're going to fit here. Which will be perfect. So we're all moored up. And uh, Nikki had all that round her prop. Goodness me. So she had to go down the weed hatch before getting here. We've got a really good moor in here. We've got a lovely path. We've got grass where we can sit out if it's nice. And that is the water point. So we've managed to join two hoses together and Martin is now filling our boat up. We've teamed up with Nikki. She was already here when we got here. This is a perfect mooring. And as is tradition, we've moored up, haven't we, Mark? And what's it doing? Raining. Sorry? Raining. <laughs> Raining. Yep. It's just started to rain. Isn't that lovely? What's it doing, Finn? I don't know if it's not going to do this tomorrow when we go over there. Oh, we've got a lovely mooring. Eee! <laughs> Join us next time as we take you with us when we visit the Black Country Living Museum and Dudley Tunnel Caverns. And this is also one of the locations where they filmed Peaky Blinders. And we also get to see them working the forge too. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. It really helps our channel grow. And don't forget to leave us a comment. We read them all and we answer every single one. See you next time. Bye.